Greetings everybody, Simon here from Explosive Action doing a DVD, Blu-ray and VHS update. This is actually the second time I've filmed this. For some reason I did a 17 minute video and it recorded no sound. So if I'm a bit blasé this time around I apologise, I've already done it once before. So uh, as you can see here we've got uh, quite a bundle. Got some laser discs, DVDs, Blu-rays, VHS, Japanese VHS, NTSC American VHS and a box set. So I've been quite busy in the last month um, acquiring a few things and I haven't paid much for almost any of this so it's been uh, quite a frugal experience. We're going to start with the laser discs. Now here this is the awesome I Come In Peace Dolph Lundgren which is also better known uh, these days as Dark Angel. However I Come In Peace was the original title. This is the Anchor Bay laser disc from uh, late 90s I think. No, no early 1991. 1996 for the jacket, there you go, so that's that's it, but this is widescreen, the local DVD is not, um, the UK DVD is, I'm not sure about the American one, uh, under the Dark Angel title, but um, yeah, so I don't really need this for watching, but it's rather cool to have, and the cover is very nice, and I have paid uh, $4 for this laser disc, um, so that's really cool, uh, it's got a theatrical trailer on it, not much else, but anywho, if you've not seen I Come In Peace slash Dark Angel, uh, check it out. It is a great slice of 80s uh, action film, um, sci-fi action horror film. Unknown Origin, don't know too much about this, except it's got Roddy McDowell in it. Uh, Melanie Shatner. God, I have to presume that's a relation. I didn't even know that. Um, this is a New Horizons home video. Um and um, I think it may be a TV movie, it's got Showtime on it as well just some sci-fi action trash from the mid late 90s uh, it's on American DVD but uh, not on any DVD out here so I just picked up this laser disc for $4 again whatever and my last one this is Crosscut starring an Australian actor Costas Mandalore who's been in the Saw films uh, he's probably the most um, well-known roles he's been in is from Saw. Um, this is a, what have we got? It's a mafia guy that's uh, killed one of his own and is on the run and starts his own new life as a lumberjack. Yes, I said that right. It's uh, the latest review on my blog, so check it out. Uh, not on DVD, only on Laserdisc and VHS. And um, yeah, I had to pick it up. I mean, it's not often that I find a not on DVD Laserdisc on Australian eBay from a seller in Sydney. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty hard to happen really, so that's really cool. Crosscut. Okay, next up we've got Blu-ray, just one. And that is Johnny English Reborn. That's the latest um, one of Rowan Atkinson's films. Big fan of Rowan Atkinson. Enjoyed this a lot more than the first one. Johnny English isn't his best character, um, but it was good fun. It's very British. I mean, yes, look, men putting on lipstick. Ha ha ha. So you need to like British humour. Um, to appreciate it and yeah it's still not the best thing he's done but it is good fun and I watched it with my wife so it was good fun in that regard as well. DVDs, lots of cheapies here. Clive Barker's Dread, got for a very good price. Wanted to check this out for a long time and uh, finally got it for about three dollars. I think most of these were three which is good. Imposter, um, I read the review in the shop and it looked pretty cool. Um, sort of aliens inhabiting human bodies deal again in the future. Uh, late 90s film and an early DVD, uh, Roadshow DVD here, so um, with the old logos on it, so that was a cool pickup, $3 again. Spider, David Cronenberg film, never even heard of it. Uh, the NTSC disc, even though it's Australian. Again, quite an older title. Um, looks like it's a bit of a mindfuck, this movie, so should be good fun. Uh, reviews indicated that it was an underrated and underappreciated film. So that's uh, boding well. Spider. Trash-tastic. This is Frankenfish. Um, yep, I know exactly what I'm getting with this one. Giant fish eating people. I'll add it to my collection of man-eater films. Awesome. Hard Candy. Uh, I've been following this for a while and then ended up never checking it out. But um, I pr from memory, I think it's a girl that... Um, yeah... That's right, yes. Um, girl that um, turns the tables on the guy that's a bit too forthcoming with uh, his wants, and I think she does some I spit on your grave kind of things to him, so hard candy. Bong of the dead. I have no idea. 
absolutely no idea. It just looks hysterical. Uh, zombies, bongs. There will be bud. Hooray! I don't smoke, I don't particularly care for it, um, but this still looks hilarious. What the hell's that? Like an alien zombie with a mounted cannon. Whatever. Bong of the dead. I uh, hope it's good. <laughs> Can't be terrible. Giallo. Dario Gento's uh, latest one. Uh, Australian release, which isn't that easy to find cheap. Um, I was actually impressed. Many people have said this is garbage. Most people have said it's garbage. And um, I think compared to uh, Mother of Tears, this is a work of art. I mean, I really couldn't stand that film. Um, it's nothing hugely special. Adrian Brody's quite good. He plays both the the main guy and the bad guy, and the bad guy is quite funny as a serial killer with various impediments, um, with you know attractive blonde leading lady, and they just try and you know, solve the crime, find the killer, be one step ahead of him, yada yada. It's actually pretty good, and um, when the serial killer um, gets going with some of his kills, they're pretty damn brutal. Um, so. Yeah, look, it's nothing hugely original, but it's far better than people give it credit for, so that's Jala. Brazen Bull, another in the long line of Michael Madsen direct-to-video movies. That guy's keeping the industry alive now. Um, yep, some kind of horror torch porn thing, I don't know. It was, very, again, very cheap. Ice-cold tale of misguided ambition and savage revenge. The bowels of an iconic something-something-something. Anyway, so it looks like it might be alright. Reviews were okay. This was fun, Tooth Fairy, paid a whopping $2.36, that included delivery, um, which is amazing. Um, so this is a modern oh, supernatural slasher, I suppose, um, taking the the witch in the haunted house and the kids, you know, scared to enter kind of thing, but replacing the witch with a demonic Tooth Fairy, um, who convinces kids that um, she will give them a treat in exchange for one of their teeth and then brutally kills them. Hooray! And if you escape, well then, yeah, she chases you down until you she gets the tooth, which is what this girl does. She escapes and she's continually pursued by this tooth fairy. It's actually quite good fun. Recommend that. Bad Dreams didn't need this as I've got the double with Visiting Hours, but this is the original release on Anchor Bay from 1996. 2006, sorry, wasn't that old? 1996, Christ, it wasn't even DVDs. From 2006, um, so yeah, I've already got it, but it was five bucks, including delivery, so I picked it up. Goes for a lot more than that, so that's good. Same with Deep Red, uh, the original Umbrella a Red Case edition. Don't need it whatsoever. I've got this like three times, including Blu-ray, but um, yeah, five bucks, and I'll add it to my Umbrella collection. So that's the DVDs. Now, um, what do we do now? Let's look at this box set because it's hysterical. Now, this is a Hellraiser box set contains six movies. I thought that's pretty cool. Six movies. I remember hearing about this. Some Dutch set. Yeah, that's that's going to be pretty rare. Uh, I got it for $10. See what we're reading here? Limit, limited edition. Limit, limited edition. Six disc set. Oh yeah, we've got a complete Chinglish box set here. Nice box, but uh, yeah. So you get this booklet, um, which is kind of cool. Um, and then you see the Anchor Bay logo, and you go, oh, what have I got myself into? We will tear your soul apart. That's the only legible piece of English in this. Um, it's all pretty crap. The writing's terrible. Um, and it also says, if you, you do manage to translate it, that it is a three-disc set. So they've used the booklet, I presumably from the, U, from the American or the UK three-disc set. And... Uh, yeah, badly translated it. But you do get the six films, which I chucked on a few of them, and the quality is just the same. They've just obviously ported the American ones um, in these ridiculous miniature elephant condoms. Um, yeah, so you get the same movies as the American release, but they just put some Chinese writing on them as well. Um, but yeah, same discs. They're not forced subtitles or anything. So, I mean, for what was it? I think I paid $15, actually, 15 bucks. Whatever. It's a good price. Um, it's a little novelty. Still looks rather cool with a box, so I'll just put it up there with my pinhead figure. Rather nice. And still quite funny. Okay, Japanese VHS, just the one. Cop Target. This looks amazing. Uh, Robert Ginty in an early 90s uh, action film. Um, it's got exploding helicopters and cars and whatever, and I've seen some screenshots as well as the ones on the back here. It looks awesome. 
looks totally awesome. It's got, I saw one screenshot that has um, Robert Ginty is the typical, you know, uh, cop that wakes at 10 a.m. from being completely hungover. And he's so lazy he can't even feed his cat. So he's got this thing that looks like a 1950s computer that feeds his cat for him. It's hysterical. That sold me alone, that screenshot. But yeah, I, I'm expecting some awesome action here. So that's awesome. Um, cop target, very good. Another spiral head case film from uh, from eBay. He's a great seller. Now these, these are awesome. Three out of four of these I got from Paul Cook, Buckaroo Bonsai. These are the Michael Dudikoff Presents Action Adventure Theatre Range. I think these are awesome. Uh, American releases, Bronx Executioner, Cross Mission, Urban Warriors, and Bridge to Hell. This is the one I got separately on eBay. Uh, these three I got from Paul. And this one is still shrink-wrapped, which is amazing. Um, and the deal with this is, is that uh, Michael Dudikoff, when these came out, was quite popular in uh, American Ninja and the like. And they got him to do um, these little intro videos on each one of these tapes where he sits in a chair and he tells you how awesome the thing is you're about to watch. And if I remember, I'll try and chuck it onto the end of this uh, this video because there's a few of them on YouTube already. Um, so yeah, really cool. All Canon videos, all with awesome painted covers. And um, I mean, things like Cross Mission aren't even on DVD as far as I can tell. Uh, the Bronx Execution is only on a public domain rubbish DVD. So even as watchability, which I will be doing, um, these are great additions. So very chuffed to get that. Thank you, Paul, for giving me such a good deal on them. They are awesome. And then lastly, these are just some tapes I picked up uh, on eBay. Uh, all of them except the last one I got from one guy who uh, put up all his army and action war films in one big set for a dollar fifty each and I just couldn't say no so I did a whole bunch of bite now super carrier um, now this was a pilot to a TV series I've already got part two and I've never seen it and now I've got part one I don't know if it's any good or not but um, yeah as I said these were all a dollar fifty so that's fine with me super carrier and it's a um, RCA Columbia tape not in the original case but it's fine this looks cool armed response David Carradine and Lee Van Cleef on uh, Premiere, which is a sub-label of Roadshow, and it's a big box with the embossed uh, silver writing that's actually on the plastic. So that's really cool, especially for $1.50. Um, this one looks like a lot of fun. Look at that guy. It's the guy from Hills Have Eyes. What a freak. Awesome. Yep. You got, uh, oh, I don't remember his name, but he was in everything at the end of this time, late 80s. He did Bad Asian Guy in every movie. So that's just brilliant. Um, yep, awesome. So that's uh, Armed Response. Look forward to checking that one out. Uh, Paratrooper. The Paratrooper. This had another name and I've forgotten it already. I'll have to include it below. But um, We did some uh, looking uh, up on uh, IMDb to work this one out. Um, I was online at the same time as Jack J from um, uh, When the Vietnam War uh, Raged in the Philippines blog. And um, I showed him these things I was going to get from eBay and he was... Uh, giving me some suggestions on other ones to get. We're trying to work out what the paratrooper was, and we did find it out. So I'll link it below. It looks pretty cool. CBS Fox. Warbus, I already have this, but uh, mine needs a bit of love and care. So um, I've got another copy here. I'll do some mixing and matching. I think the cover here is better, and the tape doesn't have labels on it, but my tape plays badly, so hopefully I can replace the labels. Commando Leopard. This has got uh, Klaus Kinski in it, which was a big selling point for me. I think it's on a DVD, um, but yep, cheap tape, so that's all good. Rated PG, which is very interesting. Don't know what I'm going to be getting here. Commando Leopard. Firebird Conspiracy, this is a rare one. Uh, it's got a rip down the bottom here, which is a shame. That's okay, uh, it's old um, macro release tape. Um, it looks pretty damn good, actually. And another Filipino action film. It's very nice, Firebird Conspiracy. Uh, the last match, I have the Japanese tape of this, which, um, yep, if you look at that closely, it's pretty hysterical. Um, the um, football team gets sent in to rescue the girl with machine guns, and they're dressed as the football team. I mean, that's just amazing. So you get, yeah, Ertis Borg 9 down there in the corner, and Charles Napier's in this as well, so that's just fantastic. So, yes, I don't need this. The Japanese tape I've got is widescreen, but it's a nice little alternate addition to have. This I didn't have in any edition, so I'm very happy about Black Fire. Another Filipino action film with Ron Kristoff from Warbus, 
directed by Teddy Page. So that's um, that's the the trifecta right there. Um, this should be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. I love Teddy Page's Phantom Soldiers. So hopefully it's as good as that. Black Fire. Here's a very rare one. It would seem no one seems to know about uh, this this actual tape. Um, Operation Get Victor Corpus. Uh, the Rebel Soldier. Very badly written down there. More Filipino action based on a true story on a label called Worldwide Video House, who are an Australian label apparently, and um, yeah, from down in Victoria, but uh, nobody seems to have known about this release, so that's really cool to actually get this, directed by Pablo Santiago. There you go, interesting. More Filipino, war action films. Awesome, get to the corpus. And the last thing I got is a slasher. This is Moonstalker. It does have a DVD, but uh, the tape was there, so I picked it up. Uh, in the dead of night, when the moon is full, he'll come haunting just for you. That's really terrible. 80s shot on video slasher. Uh, meant to be good fun, so I look forward to checking that out. Right. Done for the second time in a row. I hope the hell this recorded audio this time. So that's all for me this time. See you next time. Canon is proud to announce Michael Dudikoff's association with an all-new series of explosive action titles with the premiere of Action Adventure Theatre. Hi, I'm Michael Dudikoff. Welcome to Canon's Action Adventure Theatre. Since I started out in Hollywood, I've been lucky enough to work with some of the best action filmmakers in the business. In movies like American Ninja, Platoon Leader, River of Death, and my latest role in Canon Films' upcoming Death Sentence. So it's no surprise that hard-hitting action films are at the top of my list when it comes to pure, no-holds-barred entertainment. And that's what we have lined up for you in the Bronx Executioner. The place is New York City and a future devastated by nuclear war. In the twisted ruins, humans and androids battle for what's left of civilization in the meanest neighborhood this side of hell. Strap yourself in for a trip to the future and a rendezvous with a Bronx Executioner. <laughs>